I want to start off by really hammering home the point that trauma is very insidious and I don't know too many people who haven't experienced it in some form. I used to think I had a great childhood. There's nothing to complain about. My parents did everything they could and I should be grateful. There's a lot of guilt in this conversation. Notice how activated this conversation makes you. Notice how triggered this makes you because deep down a lot of people feel that there's a lot of um, shame in talking about this because we should be grateful to our parents and this is not about knocking your parents your parents are lovely human beings with a dark side just like everybody else and they are at the effect of their own traumas but we have to talk about it if we want to heal it this is not about bashing your mother or father this is about honoring them and honoring where their limitations were and you parent the way we were parented and so, uh, you know, spare the rod, spoil the child. Children are to be seen and not heard. That's pretty much how your parents were raised. We have kids to work on the farm. They're to suit the parents' needs. Just looking at my nine-month-old, I can tell you, he really doesn't care about my needs. But he has his own needs. My job as a conscious parent is to help him meet his needs and to teach him how to meet his needs, physical and emotional. Caregiving is making sure that he's got a roof over his head. He's got meals, he's alive, he's got a roof over his head. That's caretaking. But emotional support is parenting. Parenting is meeting a child's emotional need to feel seen, to feel heard, to allowance of your authentic expression of whoever it is that you are. And that's very rare.